Hey everyone, Tragic here with something different. This is Gate Ruler. Uh, I saw an MVP that this was an upcoming product that was going to be available. And checking out some pictures, it looked uh, like kind of interesting, different. Uh, I was kind of gravitating to the art a little bit. Um, so let's get into it and take a look. Um, apparently this has been out in Japan uh, for a while, maybe a little less than a year. And uh, this is the first English release, apparently. Um, and having just recently checked into like a little uh, tutorial, it kind of looks like it plays a little bit like Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, apparently it's created by um, someone that helped create Buddy Fight, which is another game I never got into. Uh, just kind of interested to check it out. Um, that's pretty cool. Got like a box topper here. Viola Furiosa, Raging Fell Dragon. Some pretty cool uh, uh, foiling there. So nice card back there. Um... Just wanted to check it out. Uh, probably not going to play this game at all. Um, the you know the rules looked uh, apparently something similar to like Yu-Gi-Oh or Vanguard. Apparently, uh, I'm mainly interested in the art and the style. I'm going to fumble around trying to figure out how to actually maybe play the game um, just while I'm messing with it here, and we'll see how it goes. So if you're interested in some seeing something new, here we go. Uh, it's got kind of a rarity um, chart here. Uh, you got uh, one, two, three, four, and five star with an L cards, or four star with an L. You got rulers and secrets. Get on double secret probation with this kind of stuff. So let's take a look. All right, is there a trick? Yep, you got like a little side zipper thing there. Let's get him out of here and see. So uh, I was watching a guy who uh, was playing this a little bit and kind of explaining it there are like counters there are ruler cards there are like global events so um there all goes on like zones in the on the play mat basically uh, i'm not going to read all of these but really like small font you gotta like really kind of squint at that i guess it's really about the art there so read the card if you want to know about it oh that's kind of cool Hayakumi of the Hundred Eyes. Hey, he's kind of cool. So the back of the car is really awesome. Actually, it's got like a little slight embossment to it. Um, really like the style of that. So card quality is pretty nice. Um, I, there are foils. We'll get to those in a second. Um, interesting art style. Very, very, uh, very cartoony, but got a certain charm to it. Let's see. Just real quick, look at the top card of your deck. If that card is a supernatural unit of level zero, you may drive it. Which I think driving is kind of like um, pushing onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put that card on the bottom of your deck. So, and a little flavor at the bottom. And I don't, I don't know what all this means. It's a unit zero, it's an OD, it's got attack of two, HP of one, and STK of one. It's a supernatural type, so just kind of... Just totally different from the world of magic, obviously. So, um, just checking it out. We got a tractor beam. Got Battle of the First Breach. Got a Scare Squad Sharkamorph. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. So, the, the flavor of this apparently is uh, kind of all over the place. You've got, you know, Space Marines. You've got uh, Dragons. You've got kind of Biomorph kind of stuff. There's apparently superheroes. And, like, look, this, there's like a Mech Wolf. Specialist Bullseye Wolf Military Zoo Brigade. Okay, so just looking at the stars down at the bottom, these are like two stars, so maybe we'd get like a three or a four. Yep, here we go. There's a three star solar system backpacker. So I don't usually go for like uh, anime style, um, but this I kind of like. It's it's a more of a clean style. Some of these are like kind of cartoony. Um, you know, I can kind of get down with it. So very nice foiling. And there, okay, so this is more, more what I would say is like the the cartoony anime style, but it's pretty nice. You know, I could maybe learn to get into that. So got a solar system backpacker and a golden ring dancer Paula. So she might be one of the leaders um, or the ruler. There's like a ruler card, I guess I don't see. The font is pretty small. You'd have to like really get in there. Uh, my old eyes are already having trouble just reading that. So let's bust open a few of these. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole box here, but let's just see if we can get some shinies here. So some more kind of like uh, animal uh, mech military dudes. Zoo Brigade. That's pretty cool. 
He's got an attack of five. Got a Shar Sana's Divine Shield. Army Magus Jake. So that's a one star. It's like a common supply unit. Abaruma. Mech kind of suit thing there. There's a Dragon Flame Geyser. And when you play this card, it does some stuff, right? So I'm not going to really totally learn this game, but just kind of into it. Do we Duaji of the Solar Haze. Crime Knots Space Syndicate. Very kind of comic book style art there. <laughs> okay, those guys look cool. Supernatural Citizens Act. And then Zap, Zap, Zap. Let's see. That's pretty cool. It's a four star, so it's like a rare. Firepower Magic is the type up there. And uh, let's see. Timing, instant action. You can set this card. If set, you can play it at any time. Choose one or more enemy units. Deal six damage divided as you choose among them. So it's a direct damage kind of card. But as a four star, so this might be kind of a, a rarity to be able to deal that much damage. Not sure. Um, pretty cool. And this one's a one star foil. Normandy joint military exercises. So this is a kind of a like a serious style of uh, anime art. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's 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 do a few more of these. So, get shield, Magus Jake, supplying it so we can get some uh, some duplicates here. That was almost the same pack. Colonel Bigwig Owl. That's funny. Definitely like a uh, the animal morph is a definite theme here. The Zoo Brigade, Astromancy, and we got a flying shield. And Blast Mage Wolf. It's a Fire Mage. And it's a three star. And here we got Tiger from the Id. That's a four star. So I don't know if there's a secondary market for this yet. It actually looking on eBay. It didn't look like there was much going on with this. Um, just really going to depend on if this game takes off, which would mean it's got to hit uh, like local game stores and get. You know, probably the Yu-Gi-Oh crowd interested in and maybe swapping up to a game like this, uh, which is probably going to take some marketing. So the only reason I had even seen it was uh, it was available for pre-order on MVP Games. And uh, I like the weird stuff, so I was going to just give it a try. So really depends on uh, if you're going to be able to see this out in the wild. Swordsman of the Sacred Blade. Love the art. I love the full art border. Or, um, you know, they've really, compared to Magic the Gathering, you know, they shrunk down the text a lot and they, they smushed it all down at the bottom so you can see the art really well. So that is, um, I think, a pretty cool style choice other than having to squint to read all of that. And um, if, if you've got cards that have, like, a ton of effects, it's going to kind of grow that text box. Aether Ray Gun. There we go. And then there's like knights apparently part of the uh, the, the uh, flavor here. This one's a cool foil. It's a four star Kami's vessel, and then a foil version of the Astromancy. So let's take a look close at this four star. And then there's like no, nope, that's just what that is. There's not like a secret or an extra L. I guess L would be like legendary, or that's not sure. Cool, very cool art though. Kind of digging it. Have you guys even heard of this yet? I had not heard about it before. A couple weeks, like three weeks ago, is when I ordered this Banshee Devourer. It's a D D W M. Must be Dragon something. Dragons with attitude. <laughs> right of redirection. Space Cruiser Velocto. It's cool. It's like the Planet Express. Oh my gosh. So then you went all the way from like serious like cyber space marines to like a cartoony sphinx kind of deal. Beast space peeps. Oh my gosh. So that definitely runs the gamut there. Mr. Obsolete. He's kind of like a supervillain kind of guy. He's got style from like way back. It's pretty funny. You got there's that backpacker. She's a three star, and another three star Masaro. 
Exo Armor Fusion Form Kongu. So translated from Japanese into English. Some of this stuff is probably a little out there. But there it is. Let's get another one. Swordsman. Just a flesh wound. Yeah, so this must be like a counter to some damage, probably. This guy's like Pinhead. Scare Squad Hannibal Razor. It's like a Hell Razor. That's pretty funny. A little on the nose. Again, I like the backs. They look really good. A Recon Buck. He's a Zoo Brigade. Double Excalibur. Space Mimic. Oops. The Buster Clothesline. Fell Wolverine. Just a beast. Abyssal Conductor Alagiri. So, does this make him a ruler? He's just like... He's, I'm not sure. I can't. I, mean, I haven't seen that. Okay, well, there it is. Wait, that's the copyright gate ruler. So, I'm not sure if this guy counts as like a like a commander, like a ruler. But he's a four-star foil card. And the right of Grand Ablution. It's a common... Must be some kind of counter there that seems to be like the phases of the game when I was watching the guy play. Uh, there's like a, a spot where you like you flip cards off the top of your deck in response to like a, an attack to try to counter that attack or counter the damage. Golden Hound, pretty cool. Again, I like the full art style. All right, so this guy, interesting. So this is a ruler card. All right, interesting. That They chose that the ruler would just be like a silhouette. Okay, so when I had seen the guy playing, the, that was, sure enough, the rulers were like this. I thought it was like a placeholder. Nope. There must be some thing I'm missing. Like maybe you would put like, you know, another card on top of it. Looks like there's kind of like these zones here that do something. So I don't know if you're really into it. You have to look up. That's a common card, in fact. You have to look up the, the play rules on that, which I'm not really going to do all that. Can you even pronounce that? Tatari Jia. <laughs> the timing is a forced reveal. So it's like, a, like an instant card. And it costs like negative five. Well, that's pretty exciting. And then the Sword of Destiny. That's cool. Cool art. Just like a giant sword so you can have a city. And then the Aether Ray Gun. Very nice. So, all right. Maybe we'll do just a couple more here. See if we can pull something amazing, which I wouldn't know what that would be. Evolution. Devourer of Time. That's pretty epic. Ginkuro Shadow Kappa. Crazy. Oops. Shields up. Another counter. Vampire Commando 11. And it's just a one star. Dimensional trans Traversal Vessel Arc. That's pretty awesome. Some like big space battle kind of stuff going on there too. Ruberon Crimson Dragon. Got, yeah, you, can't, you can't go wrong with dragons. I do like that. Very uh, kaiju, Godzilla kind of stuff there. Shadow of Hades, man, that thing looks gnarly. Like a total lich. He's a four star. Atlas, down at the bottom left. Not sure. Use this card's underworld pawn ability. When this enters play, choose one level zero owl unit in your graveyard and special summon it, right? I'm sure that's pretty. Uh, cool to do. This guy does not have a uh, uh, star down at the bottom. Maybe is this a secret? Jack the Ripper is a secret card. I'll have to check that one out too. Alright, well, we got that. I'm going to open this promo too. It's got a promo code on it. Furiosa. Yeah, maybe I won't open it. Alright, one more pack. One more pack. Let me know what you think down below. I'm going to open the rest of these packs on camera for you guys. Gate Ruler. The Shadow Kappa. The Vampire. There's another Ruler, so it's a Knight. Feels like the Ruler should be like one of these guys, right? Like a full art, like individual named kind of 
person, but I don't know. I guess I'd have to read the rules and see why they chose to do that. Spirit of Sakura. Very nice little foil. Pretty detailed art for that. And an Aris Ruler of the Skies. And the Bloody Forest. Very cool. All right. Well, I think I'm going to just um, hang on to those. Got half a box left still. Maybe I'll do something with it later. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below. And catch you later.